as you can see there are a lot of fragile areas on this little glass lamp This vintage lamp sold for $40 plus shipping. Let's get it packed. As you can see, there are a lot of fragile areas on this little glass lamp. But I need to protect, give it a little cushion and lots of bubble wrap. I'm going to start with some tissue paper, take a hold of the corner and run my hand down through it. Kind of elongate it and start wrapping. And start at the bottom. I'm just using regular tape for this. Try another piece. Again, just wrapping around. This just gives it a very, very slight cushion and helps protect the finish. We need some more. And let's add some more at the top. We still have the base to protect and of course I have this cord that's going to be kind of in the way. I think I might um, wrap this in some small bubble wrap and you cut a half sheet. I hope that's wide enough. And add a little tape. Okay, The base. I have another piece of tissue paper. It's going to gather this up. I'm going to leave the uh, cord on the outside of it. And how am I going to keep this fast? I know I'm getting a lot of reflection off this tissue paper. Sorry about that. I'm going to use some masking tape so they can see better where the tape is. And I'm kind of tightening this up a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we need some bubble wrap and lots of it. I think I'm going to need to do this in sections, starting with the bottom. Some masking tape. I'm going to tape it as I go. Again, I'm going to leave this to the outside for now. First layer. Because the base is a lot wider than the top, I'm going to take some bubble wrap and wrap it around twice. Let's lay this down. Masking tape. And I want to make sure this doesn't separate from the bottom, so I'm going to add some tape to the side. Let's do that to the other side. I don't want that going anywhere. And then just tucking this in and taping it around the top. I'm trying to see if I can tape this a little better. doesn't have to be pretty, just protected. I have a lot left over on the top. Now that might be an issue when it comes to the box I put it in. Speaking of the box, right now if I squish it all the way down, I could fit it into a 12 inch box. So I have an idea. I'll be right back. Actually, I have two ideas. I could either use a USPS regular priority box that's 12 by 12 by 8, or this eBay box that is 12 by 10 by 8. I think I'm going to go with this one. Let me get it assembled. Always add some tape to the side seam. Never trust it. In fact, I'm going to add two pieces today. Let's do a test fit. Got lots of room left over. I'm gonna fill it with some air pillows and some bubble wrap. I want lots of cushion for this. 
How many do I need? How about four? A couple on the side, like so. We've got four and then two singles. Putting three layers of large half inch bubble wrap this direction and two layers the opposite direction. Because the base is wider than the top part, I'm going to use some of these air pillows to add a little pillow cushion for it. I think three will do it. I wanted it to lay as flat as possible. It's looking pretty good. Let's add some more air pillows here and there. Just tucking them down in wherever they're needed. And you can see the cord is just laying on top here with air pillows under it. Just make sure it's all very firm. Let's tuck this down in, see where we are with things. I have a little more room on top. Let's see what another sheet of bubble wrap does. I think that's pretty good. And guess what I forgot? A thank you label. Yes, I add a thank you label to everything. Just run these 30 up on a sheet of labels. Go back inside here, put this right here. We've got it. Pretty good, it's not going anywhere. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. What do you think? Let's tape it up. Always make sure you press your tape down, cross tape. And sometimes, depending on the weight of the item, I put tape across the end. This really is quite light. So there you go, we just packed a lamp. Let's get it in the mail. Congratulations. Danina McCatherine, you are the winner of the Green Jumping Jack. My email is in the description below the video. Congrats. Here is a breakdown of some of my supplies that I used in this video. And I thought you might like to see these other small lamps that I've sold this year. As you can see, I tend to prefer smaller lamps, things that I can easily pack and ship. So I try to stay within that 12 by 12 by 12 or 36 inches when I'm packing them. And if you enjoy my pack and ship videos, I invite you to check out my playlist on YouTube. Go under the heading playlist and then choose my pack and ship category. Click on that and that will open it up to all my pack and ship videos. And then view full playlist to see all my pack and ship videos. And I currently have 48, so check them out and be sure to subscribe. If you like these kind of videos, I appreciate a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.